distressing reports from the Badlands. Get down to street level, waiting by the food stalls. Was attacked by a ruthless band of nomad outlaws. Fuck. Should have seen that coming. Probably had this planned from the start. Same sec we walked into her office. Jesus, am I a gunk. You wish I could come around, but there is... Don't be dramatic, Judy. There's a difference between being a gunk and believing people want to do good. I know you do. You don't need to believe that. I just know it. Street level, waiting by the food stalls. Reports from the Badlands. Fuck. Should have seen that coming. Probably had this planned from the start. Same sec we walked into her office. Jesus, am I a gunk. Don't be dramatic, Judy. There's a difference between being a gunk and believing people want to do good. I know you do. I don't need to believe that. I just know it. Thank you. See you later, V. See you around, Jenny. Once again. We offer you a humble thanks. You saved a great many lives. And limbs. Least I can do. What's the plan now? Can your brother still be a monk? The Pratimoksha vows are a guide to enlightenment, not binding laws. Though my path is paved with ever greater challenges, I shall not give up. Uh, humor me for a sec. If you don't look too kindly on having implants, then what do you think about constructs? Ah, yes. You mean the relic? A fashionable subject, is it not? It is a complex, fluctuating affair. It all depends on whether the engram is a copy of a person or if this person merely exists in a digital realm. Let's say an engram's just a person that's been digitized. Is that kosher, in your view? Buddhism does not condemn digitization per se. Vending machines often preach in temples. No, I would not condemn the simple act of transfer under the condition that they are at peace with it. One must still remember that they will still be imprisoned in their body, even if their body is not flesh. Immortality isn't your thing, I'm guessing. He who cannot die cannot be born into a better life and will never achieve nirvana. Let's say the engram's just a copy. What then? Could you say that person was real? If they are truly self-aware, a Buddhist will recognize them as a human being. A perfect copy of a complex human mind is still a human mind. But is it capable of reincarnation? And if it's not, can it still be regarded as a being in possession of a soul? What you're saying, in other words, is it's complicated. Suffering is key. He has been there since the dawn of human existence. If a construct can suffer, he is a person. What's your take, Johnny? You just you, or a copy? What difference does it make? You heard him, I'm trapped in a few lines of code. And your body. Maybe Johnny Silverhand really is dead? Maybe you're just an... Well, 
What, imitation? That what you wanted to say? If the real Johnny Silverhand's dead, then that's his problem, not mine. You don't say. Feel a headache coming on just thinking about it. Well then, I wish you all the best of luck. Farewell. And do not stray from the path of righteousness. my question I uh, there's something on your face the grenade can I ask why you have a, a juggling accident or something not cool you ask personal questions and yet you haven't even introduced yourself you are V correct yeah that's me good then let's go where to little China I have a craving for Kung Pao chicken. Extra spicy. Doesn't it bother you? What? The grenade. You know, the one in your face? Uh, you get used to it. I just gotta be careful not to pull the pin when I wanna pick my nose. Nice out here. A lot of stuff has changed. Where are you from? Brazil. You know, down in South... I know where Brazil is. Huh. You never know with you gringos. Tiger Claws. Heard of them? Who hasn't? Got any friends in there? No, why? Just asking. Can't help being curious. This is the place. Wait for me here and keep the engine running. We came all this way to get takeout? You could say that.
was that? You got grenades up your ass, too? Not bad, right? Would have been even better if you told me what you were planning from the get-go. <laughs> it's true what they say. You're good. Really fucking good. Got a stick up your ass, though. This is where we part ways. Good luck, V. And, uh, relax a bit. Okay? Now are you gonna tell me about the grenade? Oh, that. My brother ripped it off during a fight. With pliers. Unhappy family. You don't know the half of it. I could have chipped another one, but... I don't know. I think this matches my style more. Uh-huh. Besides, it's a real icebreaker with the ladies. Got any powder for my nose? <laughs> and does it work? Not really. What about my payment? What about it? Here, like I said before, the best don't come cheap. Take care, V. And hey, keep your nose to the ground. Was th
started to think you wouldn't show. Shouldn't have, to be honest. Why not? Normally only work with fixers. Clients that avoid him tend to be bad news. I just care about my privacy. Mm -hmm. And why is that, if I might ask? This is why. Fuck me. It's you. It's me, Lizzie Wizzy. Sit, please. Let's talk. Okay, so what's this about? I think you can guess. I'm in trouble. Uh-huh. And what kind? <sighs> Good question. Been a rough year. Creative block. Can't even say the last time I made anything worth listening to. And to make things worse, I fell in love. I'm so sorry. Mm. And why is that? Sooner or later, love will only late. Started to think you wouldn't show. Shouldn't have. Why not? Normally. Mm -hmm. This is. Fuck me. It's me. V? Sit. Okay. So what's this about? I think. Uh huh. Been a rough. I. F not the worst thing in the world. It is to me. I have something to say, and that, it's a distraction. I need to focus on my art. So, we're talking a man, woman? Oh shit, these hands. Sometimes it seems like I just brush something and sparks fly. <sighs> anyway, a man. His name's Liam. Liam Northam. Been together a few months, but I think he's cheating on me. Okay, why the suspicion? <sighs> it's so cliched, it's embarrassing. Whispered phone calls in the bathroom, strange receipts, secret meetings in the middle of the night. Any specific event come to mind? <laughs> My mind, that's, that's a touchy subject. Why? Don't know each other well enough for that, V. Okay. Any sp What? Don't- Do you talk to him at all? Tell him to his face? <laughs> You're adorable. Imagine this. 
We're never alone, not really. Always surrounded by assistants, PR reps, makeup artists. I stop smiling at him for one millisecond, it'll be all over every scream sheet in this town. Understood. No, you don't understand. Not until you've lived it. Millions of eyes trained on you constantly. It can be beautiful and terrifying. Liam Northam. Nope, don't know him. Tell me about him. 40-ish, sensitive, guy who never wanted for anything. You know the type. I heard they exist. How'd you meet? <sighs> He's my manager. I know. I know how it sounds. I never meant to. He's not even my type, but... But? Your body can be chrome, but the heart never changes. It wants what it wants. So what's my role here? What do you want? Proof. And then I'll end things. For good. Liam goes to Riot all the time. I think he meets someone there. I want to know who. You'll find out for me? Not so fast. Scratch? You'll get it. Sure hope so. Question is, how much? God, how mundane. No idea. Scads and scads of scratch. You happy? Uh-huh. You know, for us mere mortals, the mundane matters. Sometimes means the difference between life and death. Don't lecture me. You want the job or not? You can count on me. Perfect. Remember, I want specifics. Details. Recordings or pics if you can. Sure. Keep it in mind. Good. Now go.
If it bothers you so much, go get some cochlear plugs. My windows rattle when they fly by. <laughs> that damn landing pad. Hmm. <sighs> you look okay. Go in. No messing around. Looking for a guy. Name's Liam. Liam Northam. Know where I can find him? No, you can fuck off, Merc. I ain't talking. Listen, it's important. I'm sure, to you, me, couldn't give a flying fuck. together at the premiere. And here he is, with a new one. Seriously. Eh, total speed. Hey, Linda, champagne to the VIP room, stat. Okay, just let me give three their check. Looking for Liam. Liam Northam. Know him? Could say I know off him. What about him? Is he around? Saw him drive up to the door, but that was like half an hour ago. No idea now. Busy night, huh? Real busy. Yeah. You looking to spill your sorrows? This ain't the time. Nice tunes. Good work, music. Yeah? Wouldn't know. I've filtered out music and other ambience since I started here. Be deaf already if I hadn't. Looking for Liam. Liam Northam. Ah, <sighs> that one. Fuck. Can't stand that gunk. Bad tipper? Uh-huh. Plus, he's a jackass. Output's even worse. Output, huh? Hmm, interesting. Anyway, where's he at? You know I can't tell you that. It's important. Sure it is. You don't look like someone gets caught up in bullshit, but I, I can't. Seriously, sorry. Look, I'll pay. Make up for all those bad tips. In the VIP room with some new output. Ordered champagne, so it's a party. But, um, you didn't hear it from me, yeah? Sure. See what's here.
Champagne? Nice surprise. Uh, consider it a token of my gratitude. I know you don't often agree to use the relic, but, well, you don't usually make an engram of a living person, either. Oh, come on. Arasaka's taken a keen interest in Lizzie's career. Be a shame if it ended prematurely. A backup copy seems to be the most sensible... How about... Once you made the backup, can you... Because, Lizzie, ever since her conversion, she... She hasn't been herself. I'm afraid that's impossible. Engrams saved in the Secure Your Soul program cannot be edited. But how significant would these edits be? Significant? Sometimes... Sometimes I don't even recognize her. Other times... Uh, ne never mind. Let's have a drink. To our partnership. Oh, fuck. You heard what I just heard, right? Relic. They want to do her like they did me. Not exactly. They wiped you. Here, they just want to make a backup. A backup? V, we're talking about a person. Not your vacay snaps. Guy didn't even ask. He's just going behind her back. He's got no right to do it. Nobody has that right. Especially without her knowing. Ah, oh, shit. How do I even tell her? Don't have to. Camera in there. Where there's a cam, there's footage. Got some intel on Liam. And? Is it what I thought? No. Worse, Lizzie. Much, much worse. What do you mean? Listen, don't know the deeds. But Liam, he... He wants your engram. Wants to copy you. What? But why? He said... He said he's afraid. For you. And of you. No. No, I don't believe it. You hear me? Not a single word. You're lying. Got the data to prove it. Here, listen for yourself. No, no. It's... No. Fuck!
Allez dans l'autre bord de salle là. Y a pas de Cesar, shouldn't you be putting up a cradle or something? Two days tomorrow. I got time. Yo, Rhino. See you're keeping busy. Next time, I'm wiping the floor with you. We'll see. <laughs> well, if it isn't my favorite twins in Night City. What's up, fellas? I'm, I'm not, not twins. twins. It's, it's just, just me. me. Anyway, I'm fine. Thank you. Vic? What are you doing here? What do you mean? I came to see the fight of the year. Everybody on the street's buzzing about it. Don't let me down now, you hear? Sign autographs after the fight. Me? I prefer to get drunk after a week. Wait, 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 hold up. You're V? <laughs> if you're going anywhere after the fight, it's the ER to collect whatever's left of you. your tip <laughs> my record and you it's a heavy on the I got a, a scrappy street kid not the most convict so what now he is. Never thought of. But then it. Right? Huh. I don't know. But listen up. If raised. I'll pass. Hey, hey. I can guess. Okay. All right, so are you two ready to fight? What? One. I'm ready. Good. Hey! Oh! Hold on now. <laughs> Thanks. You two ready? Uh -huh. Let's get it! Let's start this thing. May the best brawlers win! He's got Hit him in the uh. gut! Up. You got him staggered. Uh, Just gotta land a few more. Call it now. This fight's over. Victory in the 
prize belongs to me, your champion. You think this is how it ends? Did, did I just let you out my grip? You'd be wise to. Don't think you could take another beating. This ain't no between us. We'll meet again. Tomorrow, next year, this definitely ain't the last. See you around then. I suggest you train in the meantime. I knew this would happen. Only the best could be me. Slick work, V. <sighs> Had a good coach in my corner. Congrats! Well done. Really? Congrats. Ah! Now that is boxing! Jim, there's this walkway where people are falling off the map. Find out what's going on. Just don't disappear yourself.
Hey, Jude, what's up? Uh, you know, same old. You? <laughs> Funny, I was just thinking about you. So, do I got amazing timing, or are you always thinking about me? You know, I could be cursing your name in my thoughts. Oh, hey, I'm just glad you remember me at all. Cause I got a favor to ask. Ask away. It's never boring with you. Interesting people aren't easily bored. Not in your company. Okay, now that we've blown each other, what's up? You're on a need-to-know basis. So, this particular mission don't require you to have no gun. Just a wetsuit. Gotta say, I'm intrigued. Why the wetsuit? Can't back out now. Just gonna have to use your imagination. Really know how to reel me in, don't you? Ain't seen nothing yet. All right, then count me in. But I gotta warn you, I look great in a wetsuit. Believe it when I see it. Damn out past Rancho Coronado. Know it? Sure. What about it? Little, uh, abandoned bungalow <laughs> lakeside. Meet me there, at sundown. Okay, um... Is this a date? Guess you'll have to find out. We'll have to. See ya, V.
pela almoço e com as mãos. Yeah. 